I get some questions regarding natural hair all the time. I say some questions as if it's a minimal amount. Um, but I figured I would come on here and do periodic videos based on some of the questions that I get. Now, as you can see, based on the title, it's talking about my favorite products and ways to avoid becoming a product junkie or having a um, kind of like an abundance of products that you may or may not use. Now, here's the thing about being a product junkie. When you discover an appreciation and a love for something, you kind of go all in, you go hard, okay? I don't care if it's makeup, I don't care if it's clothes because of your newfound shape because you lost weight, or, you know, did I say makeup? Hello. Um, or hair products for people who are going on a, a, a growth journey, whether it be natural, relaxed, tax lax, whatever it is. So I understand that. A lot of it has to do with your stage and phase in your hair growth journey as a whole because everything in life sometimes when you overdo it and you do it for a long period of time you get burnt out it's it's inevitable so enjoy the stage and phase while it lasts hope avoid being a product junkie is just know what the function is um of the product that you're using or the product that you want to find one um, product to use, whether it be shampoo, whether it be deep conditioner. And yeah, I'm a black girl, so I talk with my hands. <laughs> anyway, I, I got a question regarding what was my favorite deep conditioner. Let me just get on into it. The thing that I look for from a deep conditioner, first you want to look at what am I looking for this product to do for my hair. And once you find a product that does that, then you can stick with it, okay? I look for a deep conditioner to soften my hair. I look for a deep conditioner that can penetrate my hair, strengthen my hair. So I said soften, strengthen, penetrate, okay? Um, and, you know, maybe leave my hair softer after it's rinsed out, okay? I want kind of lasting softness. The thing is that I find that makes a humongous difference when you're looking for a deep conditioner um, to work, to be beneficial, and to get the best use out of it is to use it with heat. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I don't care if you're a steamer. I don't care if you're a hot towel over a shower cap. I don't care, but heat and the use of your deep conditioner, the heat will help. So heat is an essential element to my deep conditioning process and it really, really does help. It makes a difference of when I can slap on a thick deep conditioner commercial product, cover my head with a shower cap and sit under my bonnet dryer. By the time I take that bonnet off and the shower cap off, I don't see the deep conditioner. That's how I know heat makes a difference. Um, I can't stress that enough. So for those who want specifics, what I like, uh, what products I like, I, I have blog posts on it, but I love uh, cholesterol deep conditioners where I add oil, okay? My hair responds well to olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, as well as coconut milk okay um, I may choose to use them all together I may not it's not about something in particular because I've said it before it's not about the products I don't care what nobody says now you know one thing works for someone and they use it doesn't make it good or bad it means that that works for them if I say I use it works for me that that's it that's it so I'm never going to necessarily push specific products but I can share with you guys my experience about what has worked for me so deep conditioning really really helps my hair when I use um, additional oils and heat just want to touch on that because one of you guys asked me do I have a favorite deep conditioner it was on Instagram and they were saying their product you know they don't want to become a product junkie they just will need to find a deep conditioner 
you want to look for a deep conditioner that leaves your hair soft, leaves it moisturized, um, and conditioned. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's what you're looking for. Softness, conditioning, uh, moisturized, and strengthening if that's something that you... Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to hit me up. Since my wash and go and the... Um, cute kinks technique video i have fallen back in love with my hair so i've been you know putting the wigs for rest for a little bit uh, but i don't want y'all to think that there ain't gonna be a wig review or two because it will be okay <laughs> but um anyway i hope that you guys are well i hope that your natural hair journey is going as smoothly as possible if you have questions hit me up um feel free to hit me up on facebook twitter whatever with your questions or in the comment section down below i know someone's gonna ask me about the earrings the earrings were a gift um you know just traditional fulani earrings okay necklace has been thrifted the jacket is thrifted um information about what i have on in the video i'm trying to hide my little belly here with my little wrap but um yeah, anyway, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Um, let me see if I can give you a good look at the hair. Get some sun. Let me see. Bye-bye. Hugs. Mm.